Good morning, folks. We had a gamma ray burst a few hours ago. The data is not loaded yet. It's an event in progress. We'll keep an eye out for the details. What can I say? They're really pushing this idea in space news about as hard as it can be pushed without actually saying, hey truthers, over here. Let me get my head out of the clouds just in time to watch the one country with a chance to save Europe have their people metaphorically give up. Not that anything the EU or US can do will really matter if the Chinese issues go systemic. Quick note. The Pacific Ridge quakes are creeping a bit north towards Galapagos. Let's watch the subduction zone of the Americas in the coming days. You can see some red spikes here. Solar plasma is still breaking through the magnetosphere. At least a lot of the resonance is dying down. Temporal variations have been slightly ridiculous this week. You can see the yellow is stable. The solar wind speeds are slightly elevated as the coronal hole stream dies down. Don't forget we have another one on the way. Density is low. You can see the deficit of charged particles here on the Ovation Prime. NOAA still has 11476 labeled Beta Gamma Delta, but for the second straight day, I see no delta spots, and I expect the calm from this region to continue. The Earth footprint has moved to a triple spot beta region that could go unstable with just the slightest morphing. There are a few more active regions coming around the limb. The northern solar disk, not much is happening. Big bright 11476 turning to the right with the dark corona hole above it. More active regions on the left turning in, but all in all, quiet 24 hours on the north. Southern Hemisphere, small active regions, but spread out nicely, multiple magnetic filaments, one of which will surely scare some YouTubers into thinking it's coronal cavity as a spaceship sucking the sun's energy. Geomagnetics may get twerked in a few hours as this CME is set to strike Earth today. Don't forget we are just days away from the solar eclipse now. Pretty good watching for the United States, actually. Only the East Coast will miss the show. Here are some of the planetary alignments around the sun approaching the eclipse and afterwards. CME impact imminent, earthquake watch is moderate, heading towards a ramp up in a few days. That's the news, folks. Be safe.